when the first Neanderthal was found, it was identified as being the other, something not human. And as more were found, um, like this cranium here, they had um, brow ridges and sloping foreheads. They didn't have the high foreheads like we have and the, and the slight brows. And this was thought to be a primitive trait and reflected on their inability to think or walk and chew gum, or not that they had gum, but you know, that they were not, they were not smart individuals, despite the fact that they had bigger brain sizes than we did, we do. Um, so, so the perception of Neanderthals as being dumb was, was something that's long lasting in the literature from the first moment that they were found all the way up until really just recently. And still a lot of people think of Neanderthals as being stupid, like the Geico commercial and, and, and you know, if you call somebody a Neanderthal, call me a Neanderthal, it's fine, but if you call someone else a Neanderthal, they don't necessarily take it as a, as a compliment. But um, the more we have learned about Neanderthals in the last 20 years, the more they're human-like in their abilities. And this find just adds to that because there are no finds in, with, with moderns, Cro-Magnon or whatever in Europe or the Near East where there are eight eagle talons from, from the same level. Um, almost for sure they were in a bracelet or a necklace because of the, the wear that's on them. And um, if this was found in any other context, everybody would say, aha, this is a, p a perfect sign of them having cognition and, and even religious things like we do, um, because it is the most powerful bird that's in the environment. But um, I think it will surprise a lot of people that it's found with the Neanderthals. And at this site, there's only Neanderthals. It ends at 130,000 years ago. So there's no doubt that that it was done by them.